Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are basically going to steal music from existing songs. It's a weird title for a lesson or weird goal. But uh, here's the thing. You're going to take songs which which pretty much have the same chord progression, which is the chord progression of the Andalusian cadence, namely 1 minor, 7 flat major, 6 flat major, and then the 5 major, which kind of makes it both D natural minor and D harmonic minor, if you think about it. So we are going to take these songs, which pretty much use the, the Andalusian cadence, and try to make it our own and try to improvise and try to create it and just make it our own. And then we will use it with other songs which are in different chord progressions and no one will know what we did. To learn from great music, take the rhythm pattern in the song, play it with a great cadence, the Andalusian cadence. And create a variety of rhythm patterns along the way. So the first one is inspired from this song. know this song. It's called Feeling Good, popularized by Nina Simone's version, Michael Bublé's version, and then so many other great versions along the line. So the pattern is quite simple. You just go, let, let me break it for you in a easy to feeling good way. So the Andalusian cadence, you're going to play the root in the right hand, sorry, the root in the left hand and the chord in the right hand. So, dum, dum, pow, boom, boom, pow. That's the first way of getting the pattern. So, dun, 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 check out the notation, which will help you. Bum, bum, bow, one and a two. So, it's actually a triplet feel. So, you want to count one and a two and a three and a four and a one triplet, two triplet, three and a tack. One and a two, one and a two. And a dun, 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 bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, da, dum, dum, da, dum, dum. Now let's get that ba 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 also. So pum. You could even keep it simple by going pum ba bum 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 the whole rhythm which I told you ba bum ba ba ka to dum. So let's slow that down at the end, at the turn. I'm kind of landing back on my root. I'm feeling good, yeah. feeling good so there's another nice song which when when i play it you will probably recognize it so we're going to take this famous song house of the rising sun and try to play it over the andalusian cadence so you use arpeggios and i would encourage you to watch a simple version of the Andalusian cadence using what I call a simple arpeggios, which will actually help you to eventually play the house of the rising sun rhythm, which goes like this. So, there is a house in New This is not the chords, or these are not the chords of the original song. The original song goes D, F, G, B flat, D minor, F, A. You can also. 
also play that but i'm just doing it over the andalusian cadence which is part of this long series of us so you go d so one da 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 dum two three one e and a two and two three one two, 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 five six so let's break down the house of the rising sun rhythm one two three four one two three four one two three four five six you could da da dum dum pa da dum da 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 dum pa da da dum pa da da dum pa da dum I guess it's a six eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So we've looked at um, House of the Rising Sun. Before that, we looked at Feeling Good. So there's another really nice song which I think you'll again remember when I play it. You've heard this, Believer. So it's quite easy in the right hand. It goes D F D F D F D F D F D F, and you could start with fifth chords in the left hand. And the very last one, because D F will not work so well with that A major. You do C sharp E. It's pretty much what happens in the original song. On, only thing the original song is the guitar does that, and then everything else does the other stuff. Here we are actually trying to play the believer uh, chord progression, the riff, and everything else just on one instrument with one human. So this is the right hand. It's just swung one, two, three, and four, and one. Look at the left hand first. Start with some fifth chords. Na na na. If you like following the cadence, you can do that also. to make this a bit more epic you could do like a you could kind of go really low to like the lowest d on your keyboard and come back and whack the fifth chord in the right hand your pedal and to, so that's what really makes it epic i think you could even play the melody higher if you like i know i think i prefer it lower so okay you could also make it even more epic by going something like this Hitting a few off beats. Let me break that down better. You know, you could hit the C a little bit earlier. You could hit the C. Every alternate chord, you could hit it. You could lag it. So two E and the three E. be at the e 1 e and 2 e and 3 e and 4 e and 1 e and 3 and 1 or keep it just blocks in the left hand so so far we have fifth chords you could play it with a pulse 
or you could just block that also swing of course then you make it epic with the drone in the left hand droning the left hand some offbeat stuff Right guys so that was basically the song believer by imagine dragons but in our own way moving forward i have couple more songs for you uh, one is a michael jackson hit it's called who is it who is it that song so if you take that he goes pulse in the right hand and you kind of time your chords in a 3 plus 1 manner so it's 3d minors na, 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 na. so you're playing the c at the fourth beat and d minor would be for three counts na, 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 na. Look at the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and C and B flat and who is it? Na 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 na. I thought it, anyway the song uses the cadence, which is. figured we learn this rhythm pattern it's really nice for your independence it's also very nice for a lot of ballad or, or even hard hitting rock songs to play a pulse in the right hand and play some accents in the left again and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one you can do that like a nice climb there that pa 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 you can add some ghost editions in the left Clue about the words. Apologize for that. So now that you learn the popular rock song by Michael Jackson, I want one more b- sort of rock song, old school rock song by the Ventures called "Walk Don't Run." So that goes something like this. So what's happening here? It's three hits of the D minor. Pa ba ba ba. So let's look at the right hand first. So at the end you do a little eighth note broken thing and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and very similar to who is it actually and then That's the walk down run riff and I have one more song for you which uses the Andalusian cadence really really well it's a it's a dance song called the catch up song let's see how that goes Right guys so the last song which I wanted to share with you which uses the Andalusian cadence is the catch up song so Uh, the the right hand little later the left hand is really really cool as a bass line on its own so you could say that this is that this is a 16th note bass line which goes something like so 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a, and a 3e and so what's happening there 1 5 1 10 octave back to the fifth pom 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 pom
Pum 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 pum. So dun dun dun. Could cross over your finger, I guess, at this point. That's a bit tricky. So, you could use your middle finger and then the index. So, this is the right hand. So, the right hand is going. One e, a two e, and a three e, a four e, and a one e, a two e, and a very, very EDM disco. You could say. No clue of those words. I don't think even you do. But it's really confusing that song. So this is the groove. the right hand you could also create like a simplified version something like just root and fifth whole thing now whole thing is my favorite of them all i've kind of saved the best for last right guys so we've learned a bunch of songs which use the andalusian cadence and um, yeah please practice it well and again this is jason here from nathaniel do consider hitting that subscribe button the bell for notifications and do stay tuned to the entire andalusian series this is part of an entire series if you haven't already do watch the lessons which precede this and which succeed this moving forward